Thompson hits it in the air, and that's four. That's what the doctor ordered. That's the way to play, Jeff Thompson. Jeff Thompson. Now that's more like it. One of the most devastating fast men to ever set foot on a cricket field. Well ball, Jeff Thompson. The equation now, Australia needs 74 runs to win. England, just one Australian wicket for victory. But as England looked to close out the 1982 Boxing Day Test, Australia needed a last ditch effort from Thompson the with the bat. Four, that's what the doctor ordered. That's the way to play, Jeff Thompson. All of a sudden, the crowd has come to life again. Joining forces with the ever-reliable Alan Border, the pair decided to roll the dice with their running between the wickets. Tara was right at the stump, the throw was just wide. Border displaying both the class and determination that would define his career for years to come. In the centre, that's four more, 42 runs for victory. Australia now with a puncher's chance of a colossal comeback, making it to day five by the barest of margins. Got him! No, he's home! Oh, photo finish. Photo was good, photo was best, but Thompson had fine athlete, made his ground. On the final day, Border and Thompson continued to run the gauntlet. Oh, and in their rush to get it at Jeff Thompson, who was not backing up, the two Englishmen have collided. Cowan is bowling to Alan Border. Alan Border is 50, and they'll be looking for two here. Very well run, Jeff Thompson. Their partnership Damn. reaching 70 when Border drove again to the MCG outfield. As he settled on running three, Australia were now within just a boundary of a most famous win. The tension almost unbearable. Ian Botham bowls now to Jeff Thompson. He's got him! Heartbreak for the Aussies, a defeat that didn't stop them winning the Ashes, but would haunt Thompson for decades to come. England win by three runs.